Ready to send your survey? The weblink collector creates a URL that goes directly to your survey, giving you a super fast way to collect responses. Simply copy the URL and share away however you'd like. Email it, tweet it, or add it to a newsletter. Depending on your plan, you can customize your survey link to make it more memorable and more relevant to your needs. Then, adjust loads of collector settings like allowing people to submit multiple responses and showing instant results to people who finish your survey. Let's check it out a bit further. Creating a web link is really simple. From the My Surveys page, click the Collect icon, then choose Get Web Link, and your link is ready to go. Make sure you don't send the preview and test link though. This link is mega nifty for internal comments and checking out what your survey looks like in progress, but it's just a preview and it can't record responses. Also, don't share the link from the address bar when designing your survey. This link is for editing your survey, so anyone else that uses it will be asked to log in, which could be a bit confusing. If you're on the free plan, you may be asked to upgrade to send your survey. This means you've added some paid features in the survey. You can upgrade to send as it is, or remove any features highlighted in yellow and any logo you may have added. The default link you see is absolutely fine to share, but you may want to edit it. To do that, click Customize. Depending on your plan, you can change the domain to research.net through the drop-down or leave it as it is. If you want to make the URL a bit more you, edit the end of your link. You can use alphanumeric characters underscores and hyphens here. If you use any unsupported characters like a question mark, the box will go red and you won't be able to save your link, so you've got to keep that box green in order to save it. Now that your link is looking good, use the collector options to customise the survey taking experience for your respondents. If you're not sure what a setting does, hover over the little question mark to learn a bit more about it. Click show advanced options to show even more ways to customise your settings. Once that's done, your link is ready to send. Just copy the link and share away to start gathering responses. The Weblink Collector doesn't collect respondents' email addresses. If you want to track email addresses, try using the Email Invitation Collector instead, or ask for an email address in the survey by adding a contact information question. If you're feeling a bit more advanced, and you're comfortable modifying URLs, you can add custom variables from the design section of your survey. Custom variables let you add custom data to your web link and pass this along to your survey results. If you finish collecting responses, you can close your collector whenever you'd like. From the survey collector section, click open. You can then add a custom message so any latecomers that go to your web link don't get confused. And that's about it. The web link collector works wonders if you want to share your survey across multiple platforms to quickly gather the responses you need. Try it out on your next survey.